Hey everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this part. Before we start the video, I need to say that for this model I inspired from a video which made by EasyCAD Solutions. It's an extraordinary page, can be good for you to look there in order to learn a new set of skills from a different point of modeling approach. It's a very nice page, uh, thanks to him. And let's start modeling a open a new sketch on front plane and we place there an arc which is looking like this I will place here one construction geometry and here another one now we will give dimensions our radius value is 80, take uh, radius value 40, total value is 80, diameter I mean, and 25 here, and 35 here, and of course here a vertical construction geometry where we will use for revolve. We just make seven and a half degree revolve in this direction. And then later we look to that point from right plane. We place our sketch here. Now we can start to use spline. It's good to have first of all a center line again here. With construction geometry, we made it. Here style spline, uh, B spline, degree A7. And after this point, I need to select again. We start the model. We will have seven level. I mean, one, two, three, four. This is five. This is six and seven. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And after placing a, a spline like this, let's make some adding relationships. And we make horizontal, we make vertical. We just click and say that horizontal and word vertical. Horizontal, this is vertical. This is vertical, this is horizontal, vertical, horizontal, and horizontal, this is vertical. Seems everything fine. And we can say to this two point, you are vertical. That means you are in the same direction, the same uh, axis. And we can start to give our values. Here we have two millimeter. After this, we have a five. Here we have a seven. And this dimension from here to here, 5.25. Other values we are going to give. Here we have a 10, which will be at the other side of model a little bit. This is 0 0.5. Later we have a 11 height. And from center to here, we have a 5.75 value. 
and after 11 we have 10 and then it is again 8 here it will be 0 0.5 here we have a value of 4.75 and then the rest is already done I believe this is the sketch let me control I'm just not sure about this one because so it should be like this, maybe between this two was 5.25, let me try, it is not, but we will change then this one. To 5.25 again, yes, now it's good. And the rest is fine, I believe. Here we have a problem. I think again I will a little bit change the value and from here to here, yes, 4.75. No, 5.75 that's good uh, after this operation I close this sketch and on the right plane we open again the sketch and we make an offset 0 0.25 bidirectional but before that it's good to convert here and we can say now 0 0.25 in both sides this is our profile and we can hide the original I want to keep the original uh, without having any uh, offset or extra additional things on it because in case of you want to change something it will be easy to handle with that that's the reason that I didn't work on it and after this operation I think we can make a split line here on the surface which is basically we select the surface and we select the sketch and projection active after display position uh, I can make a mirror I select front plane and this whole surface will be mirrored and later I go reference geometry pick a plane select this edge and I will make this part of some mirror the other half the original half in fact then later I obtain a group of uh, surfaces like this we will go hide this plane and then we will delete these internal surfaces only we will have this group and after this operation I go to loft basically I select to edge uh, sorry we uh, missed one point we go rolled surface we select these lines and 3 mm is good original three surface will be hided and this new group of surface which created that with ruled surface will be active and then loft one and two both here tangency to face of its option and the value is two and a half two and a half 
and then laser fit in a surface like this. And for the next one, the same again, a loft. This and this. Again, tangency to phase, tangency to phase, two and a half and two and a half tangency values. Our uh, surfaces are created. This ruled surface was just a, a group of surfaces to help to, uh, to in order to create uh, this formed surface. Then I can delete them. Basically, I needed to achieve this group and this is uh, done this uh, surface one also unnecessary we delete also that because now we are going to make a copy and it will be there and we have four surface first let's make a knitting we need everything and we will make some extension now I just select the surfaces here, edges, two and a half. We made extension there. And same extension will be also here. Yes. Because we need to make a twin. And this is our surface revolve. I click top plane. First plane will be placed here. Second will be here. Basically, the thing that I am doing here, selecting a uh, reference plane and then uh, sec uh, secondly, a point, then in that point, program for me creating a plane, which is exactly parallel to the first one. And then we can make a trim now. Standard trim, this plane, and this will be removed. After this operation, I select this one. Again, trim, and now I am selecting the part that I want to remove, or you can change it here. You can say keep. That's both fine. And under the reference geometry, I select an axis by selecting my original sketch. Now I can make a copy which will be 24 copy. This is a surface body. And then I'm just going to copy a surface. This is done. And surface knit. We need everything. A little bit weight. And later I have to plane. On this planes, I open a sketch. I will show two different way. Here I open a sketch. The diameter bigger than part. And I say my program, mutual, this group of surfaces, and remove this side. So it's a little bit slow. We are waiting for trim operation. And then the second operation that I want to show, clicking here and right, open loop, and planar surface. This both operation resulting same thing for me here just i wanted to show after this operation we can make it again because we have a fully closed boundary now 
you should make it a new surface and create surface uh, create a body solid body after this operation we will have a solid body exactly this was what we are searching for and i will go my front plane again where i have my original sketch i open sketch on my front plane and i convert the existing sketch and i'm saying that i need a four millimeter offset and we convert this to construction geometry this is original sketch with the copy and from this point i pick a line and i combine both of them we close our sketch and we will make a revolve cut which is for this operation and after that i will create you a chamfer let's make 75 degree here it is looking for now at least fine and we're gonna make a fillet 0.25 fillet and i just select the edge and then later with this operation i think we can select everything then program going to select for me every edge that i want to put that value of radius and then i will just say okay but i see there is some missing we can add them later operation is seems done i will check all the edges yes every edge is done only here there will be a fillet a small fillet again on the top and i didn't like this chamfer we will change it a little bit this is looking fine it takes a little bit time i will wait for that yes that's fine and now the operation is changing this value in fact we can just play here instead of opening the whole uh, feature and then we can make here a renew fresh or renew we can say and then later our model is done thank you for watching i hope you have learned some things new in this video